Hello, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles and I'm here with Baileys today to show you how you can forage for free food for your guinea pigs. Buying fresh food for guinea pigs can be expensive. We love to forage as it's fun, free and the guinea pigs love the freshly picked food that is also packed with nutrients. You can forage in fields, meadows, hedgerows, woodlands and even your own garden. Even if you live in a city, there will probably be somewhere you can find these common weeds. Always make sure you forage in places that haven't been treated with chemicals and not polluted by passing traffic or fouled by dogs. Foraging is also a great activity for kids to become involved with, but make sure young children are supervised to make sure they don't pick anything that's poisonous. Clover is common and you might be able to find some in your garden. It's easy to identify by the three little leaflets that make up the whole leaf. Both white and red clovers are safe for guinea pigs to eat. Brambles are a very common plant in the UK. Guinea pigs can eat bramble tips. The tips are the young new leaves. The thorns on the young leaves are still soft and not prickly. This makes it easy to pick them without hurting your fingers. Ribwort plantain is not related to the banana type of plantain. It has a long, narrow leaf and is easily identified by its distinctive ribs that run along the back of the leaves. They are easy to spot when in flower, as the flower is tall and it looks a bit like a rat's tail. Broadleaf plantain is similar to ribwort, but it has a rounded leaf. This is also easy to identify by the pronounced ribs on the back of the leaf. Vetch is a member of the pea family and it's easy to identify by the way the leaves grow in pairs with a tendril at the end of the stem. They usually have purple coloured flowers. Grass is really nutritious for guinea pigs and they absolutely love it. If you haven't fed your guinea pigs fresh grass before, just be careful not to feed them too much in one go for the first time. This will avoid them getting diarrhoea. There are many different types of grasses that you can pick for them and they also love the seed heads. Bear in mind that you should never feed your guinea pigs grass clippings. All grass must be freshly picked by hand. The reason grass clippings are to be avoided is that they may contain poisonous plants such as daisies or buttercups as well as pollutants from the lawnmower. Hawthorn can be found in many places all over the UK. Guinea pigs can eat all of the hawthorn, but to be safe, pick off the tips of the thorns as they are incredibly sharp. Guinea pigs love both the leaves and flowers of a dandelion. Flowers are bright yellow and there is one flower per stem. The leaves are hairless and have toothed edges. Some can be quite small, but they can grow quite large too. 
cleavers are also known as goose grass and sticky weed. Not surprisingly, they get this name because they stick to things. This is a good way to identify them. South thistle look a bit like dandelions, but they can grow very tall and have many flowers per stem. Groundsel is often found in places where the soil is poor. You can often find it between paving slabs or growing out of walls. This is an extremely common weed and guinea pigs love it. Our piggies always seem to know when it's food time and become very active and excitable when they know it's on its way. It's important you wash all food before feeding it to your guinea pigs to make doubly sure they are not getting anything that might harm them. So you can see that feeding guinea pigs fresh food doesn't have to be expensive. If you can, try to feed a variety of foraged food rather than just one or two so they get a good balance of nutrients. If you're feeding them something for the first time, they may need to get used to it, so persevere. Like humans, guinea pigs are creatures of habit. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's been helpful. Please leave a comment if you want to below hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you are notified when we upload new videos.